guys this is real chief here and welcome back to my channel my name is Mike and I have another review video for you guys today now today's review is actually a review of a older product but it's still a very good product at the same time so what I have here is the Union Pacific rotary snow plow by Lionel and the number is 6-18466 now I also do have the 58 grade Northern Snowplow as well, and that version was made around 1998 by the Lionel Postwar Celebration Series, but that engine is currently undergoing some maintenance, so it'll be a while before I actually take it out of the box again and start running it around the layout. So instead, I have the reproduction here, which is still very nice, like I said before. So that's what we're going to be reviewing today. So. Let's start off with the front of the locomotive. Now, I know I mentioned about the snowplow in front here, but the one thing that I did not mention is that this locomotive actually has an illuminated LED light in the front, and that's something that the original Lionel snowplows did not have. So that's really a nice addition that Lionel added when they were starting to remake these snowplows. Next up, we have this very nice-looking plastic ladder on the side. There's actually two in the front here. If we just flip this over, as you can see. We also have some very nice looking uh, ventilation detail on the side. We also have a very nice swinging bell on the top here. Now the original Lionel Pulse War version had a a uh, plastic molded in bell on the top here. So this was also a very nice change that Lionel's made to its snow plows lately. We also have some very nice looking rivet deal detail on the top of the roof here. Then we have this very nice um, metal handrail on each side of the engine, as well as the back of the engine as well. This locomotive is a 242 wheel arrangement, just like the original Lionel motorized units. And then the window is basically plastic, just like with the original. Now, as always, you want to be careful when it comes to these window struts here, because once they break off, you officially kind of ruined the locomotive, and therefore, therefore the value of the engine will go down in quality. And it's really rare to find one of these one of the original snowplows with the window struts intact. But anyway, moving on down to the bottom, we have the Uni Pacific road name. We also have the number, like I mentioned before, which is nine zero 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 eight zero. We also have this very nice looking Uni Pacific decal at the bottom, along with some more rivet detail. And then moving along to the back, we have another Union Pacific detail, decal on the back of the engine here. Along with this on and off switch for the reversing unit. We also got a coupler in the back. And this, of course, is a metal coupler, as always. So it's very nice to see on any Lionel engine. Not just the motorized units, but other Lionel locomotives. There's also an LED light in the back of the engine here. Then we got some more rivet detail and some more window struts. And overall, just a very nice motorized unit. It's just a very, you know, beautiful looking paint scheme on this engine. The one last thing that I want to mention here before we start up this engine is that just like with the original Lionel motorized units, you can't really pull a whole lot with these engines because they were basically just made just for fun. And these locomotives only came with a single motor. 
they didn't really have any fancy bells or whistles, no pun intended, and they certainly didn't have any magnet traction either. So these were just basically made for fun and to help, you know, get more people to stick around with Lionel over the years. But you actually can get away with pulling maybe three or two or three cars, but as as long as they don't really have too much weight to them. For example, the, um, the cars that I usually like to run with these engines are, of course, the um, late post-war freight cars that were made around the 1960s and some of the MPC cars, which were made around the 1970s by Lionel. Now, before I end the video here, I'm just going to be taking a few minutes or so to run the snowplow around my layout here just to give you guys a basic idea on how this thing operates when it's in motion. I also have a decent load of hopper cars behind this engine, and like I said earlier before, as long as this locomotive isn't really pulling anything too heavy, it should operate just fine. As a bonus, we seem to be having a pretty heavy snowstorm here on the layout here, so let me go ahead and start powering this thing up. So I hope you all have enjoyed watching today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell down below for any other projects that I upload. And I'm also hoping to do some more review videos like this in the near future. So once again, thank you guys again for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next episode. Thanks again, and take care.